The IRS Criminal Investigation Division is currently hiring gun-carrying special agents in all 50 states as part of its efforts to combat financial crimes, money laundering, tax-related identity theft, and terrorist financing efforts. These special agents are the only IRS employees allowed to carry firearms, according to the law. The job posting requires applicants to carry a firearm and maintain a level of fitness that enables them to respond to life-threatening situations at any time. They must also be willing to participate in dangerous assignments, such as executing search warrants and making arrests. The posting opened in February and will remain open through the end of the year. It lists 360 vacancies in 249 locations around the country, with at least one vacancy in each state. The salary for the special agents ranges from $52,921 to $94,228 annually. The job posting faced criticism last year when a similar posting went live during the Democrats' Inflation Reduction Act debates in Congress, which included an $80 billion increase in funding for the IRS to combat tax evasion. Critics argued that increasing funding for the agency would give the IRS too much power and could lead to abuse of power. The requirements to become a special agent are rigorous. Job seekers must be U.S. citizens, between the ages of 21 and 37, and pass pre-employment medical and tax exams. They must also pass a drug test and be legally allowed to possess firearms. Other federal law enforcement job postings that involve fieldwork and potentially dangerous situations have similar language related to the use of force and carrying firearms. The IRS Criminal Investigation Division is making strides to combat financial crimes and other serious offenses by hiring specialized agents. The job posting is open to anyone who meets the requirements and is willing to take on the challenges of the job, 